Guys, if you want to see some mangrove exploration with a shark, some diving out on the reef, and some barracuda, stick around. That's what we got in this episode. So I want to give you a heads up that if you want to stay in John Pennycamp State Park at the campground, it appears now, and I didn't even know this, that you got to book these out months in advance or they're full for the winter time. So I tried to get in there but wasn't able to. So I was able to book a place here at the Key Largo Campground in Marina. Um, it was more expensive and way less space, but at least we had a place to put the tent up and it worked out for our needs. This is Key Largo Campground. It's a little private campground. Uh, this time of the year in the Keys in the winter, these places are packed. I couldn't get um, any campground at any of the state parks. They were all full. I was lucky to get this one and it was about twice as expensive. Um, you know, it's a place to sleep. Can't complain. We sure don't have a lot of room between here. Had the boat set up, but hey, it works. Got the tent set up. Got the uh, air mattresses. That made for good, comfortable sleeping. The water's right over there. They're, they got a nice canal that comes in there, a place to put the boat in. But yeah, so if you, I wouldn't recommend it, I don't guess, unless you just, you know, last place that they have. You do what you gotta do. With the lack of amenities, probably the worst thing about the place is there's one bathroom. And it's about a quarter block over there for all of these campers. So uh, at prime times, it's hard to get in the showers or whatever, but you know, if you don't have anywhere else, you do what you do. So the plan was this morning to get up and go drive down to Marathon, which is right here. <clears throat> Marathon is the beginning of what a lot of people know, Seven Mile Bridge. One of my buddies uh, has his boat here in what's known as Boot Key Harbor. Uh, you'll remember Richard. He, was, uh, he helped uh, pick me up and move me to the truck when he was up in North Carolina. He often comes to Florida to winter down here and happened to be in Boot Key Harbor. So we decided we wanted to come down here, see him, and then go out and explore uh, some of the area. Now, the challenge was that the only place that we could get uh, to be able to put the boat in the water was a public dock, and I believe it was right here. I believe that's where it was which meant we would have to put in, go around at Seven Mile Bridge and then come back up in Boot Key Harbor this way. And then later go out Sisters Creek. Coming into Boot Key Harbor, Seven Mile Bridge back there. Then we got a buddy that's up here in Boot Key Harbor. We'll stop by and see him. Yeah, that was a state guy. I thought it was. Well, that was a different boat. Is it? So Bucky, what do you think about the adventure so far coming down to Florida? You from where? From Virginia Beach, man. Okay. Virginia, yeah. So how cold is it up there? Right now, it's, uh, when I left, it was 21 degrees outside. And, and uh, right now, it's like 70, about 70 degrees out here. Beautiful water, beautiful. Getting a lot of, uh, a lot of fun on some range, we're gonna do some fishing. And uh, this is priceless down here, especially for anybody up north or out west if it's cold right now, Florida. You know, Tampa Bay area, Everglades, or you know, specifically down here in the Keys. Would you recommend it? 100%. 100%. You can't put, you can't put money on this trip. 100%. So the video I was just showing you, we were working our way right through here. And we're coming into what's known as Boot Key Harbor. All these, sail, all these boats that you see, this end is usually sailboats. But all of these are boats that are on the mooring ball. You can normally tell it by how straight are the lines that they're in. Uh, the first thing we wanted to do is go out a little place called Sisters Creek right here and come out and check out an island that I knew about. It's right out here. It, uh, this island will sometimes cover uh, in high tide, but as you'll see, the water is super clear and it's a pretty cool place to go out and just explore. 
January in the Florida Keys. It's a little cool. Got that breeze blowing, but I think it's up low 70s. If it wasn't for the breeze, I wouldn't have had this jacket on. We're at Sisters Creek here in Marathon. This is an island just outside of this. Some of you may recognize it. Probably can't see it off in the distance, but Alligator Reef is right out there. It's seven mile bridge. Great place to be, man. Get ready to crack open the cold beer. Good times, baby. All right, making our way through all the boats on the mooring balls here at uh, Bukki Harbor. Going up to see my buddy Richard. He's been up here for a few months. So we're going to ease up here, hang with him a minute, then we're heading out. Looks a lot like him. As him. I remember. Good man, you. This is Bucky. He's from uh, Chesapeake. What's going on, man? Hey, this is Richard. Good yourself. Yeah, nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Richard's been in uh, some videos. Cats, I hear them. See you, man. What's happening? Don't come on away. Yeah. Now, this is the kind of boat you want to be on right here. Big boat. <laughs> is it a sea deck like you got? It's on your ankles, man. Yeah. Yeah, if I had one like this, I'd be living on it too. Everything's got price. You're right. <laughs> We spent some time visiting with Richard and then we went on over to the dinghy dock. Pulling up to the dinghy dock at Bootkey Harbor, the municipal marina. Dinghies everywhere. Anybody need a dinghy? Selling them cheap. We dropped the dinghy off there at the uh, Bootkey Harbor Marina, municipal marina. Walk across the street, we happened to put in right across the number one on the other side at the city docks. The only place you can put a boat in, in the area. So now we're, we're gonna walk, but we gotta get lunch anyways. So we're doing. Beautiful day, doesn't matter, right? Double duty. Get her done, baby. We found a little place called Overseas Pub and Grill across the highway. And it was one of them cool little keys places with a real laid back vibe. And I'm going to tell you what, they had the best fish dip I believe I have ever had in the keys. And I will return there for sure. Just coming out of uh, Sisters Creek. Anybody been in this area will know it. Coming out into the big water. It was very windy on the other side. It's only about, it was probably a good, what, two to threes over there. On this, side. this side is good. So after eating lunch at the Overseas Pub and Grill, we made our way back through Boot Key Harbor, dodging all the boats and back out Sisters Creek. We came out, we stopped at this island again, done a little bit more exploring. Spent a little bit of time there. We noticed it was the sun was starting to get low in the horizon and we should start working our way back. We decided to go this way, which was seemed to be a little quicker. But I was a little nervous about that motor because as you can see, this is the Atlantic Ocean on this side. If you have any problems, especially late in the day, there's no telling where you're going to end up. But we made it back. Right back under Seven Mile Bridge and then back around and back to the ramp where we had the boat. And that pretty much wrapped up the things for this day. So on this day, we had a snorkel trip planned from John Pennycamp State Park. Um, we were just going to ride out on a big pontoon boat basically and go snorkeling. But that was for the afternoon, so we were right here and decided we would go out and do some exploring in these mangroves. This is always pretty cool because you always see all kind of cool stuff. And we actually ended up working out 
and going out to one of these islands as well. Okay, the one good thing about being at Key Largo Campground is right here they had a boat ramp. So we put in at the boat ramp and then we worked our way and then eventually out through here. But there was something really interesting here that I'd never seen before. And it was they had a bubbler system right here. And I guess it was to keep all the stuff from flowing into here and then backing up into this canal. But I'll show you a little video of that. We're kind of under, yeah, so he's pushed back, but we got to look under the mangoes, or mangroves. There he is. Waterproof this whole time, I didn't know. I don't even see it. Hold on, hold There he is, there he is. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, right here. We were having fun back here in these mangroves exploring, but it was getting to be about time to do the snorkeling trip, so we had to head on back. So if you ever get a chance to make it down to the Florida Keys, this is the place that I highly recommend the most, John Pennycamp State Park. And though they got a few amenities inside the park, the best place is to get out in the water and see all that they have to offer out on the well, reefs. Uh, I've had dove in Mexico, the Bahamas, and I believe that these reefs are prettier than any of those places. Howdy. Hey bud, we were good here you. earlier. Oh yeah, no worries, you're good. Yep. Thank you much. Thank you. So actually I'm an advanced certified diver, but sometimes it's nice just to go and do some snorkeling. You don't have to have all that gear. And this is what we decided to do this day. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, you're going on a big boy right there, ain't you? That's, yeah, that's for you, right there. <laughs> As is typical with a dive boat or snorkeling boat, you'll have a bunch of seats around the perimeter. Once you get out to the reef, you get all your gear on and get in the water. It's a challenge whenever you're doing video because you got to make sure that all your video equipment is working properly. You hate to get under there and miss a good shot. And always remember to hold your mask or you'll lose it. The first time that I got certified was here in the Florida Keys at John Penn Camp State Park. And then every time I go and I get into water, it's such a sense of calm. You don't really hear too much because you're under the water. And then all the sea life that you see 
is a special time every time I go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making this one, remembering. If you don't mind, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, do that now. We'll see you on the next one.